Hey friends, greeting, Esme, wild at heart. How have y'all been doing? I know it's been a hot minute since I made a video and posted it, either on YouTube or on Facebook. Um, I'd like to say I've been really busy and haven't had the time, but that wouldn't be true. What I've actually been is um, hibernating. Yeah, hibernating in the summertime. Um, a lot of things have changed since the last time I made a video. A lot of soul searching, a lot of really deep introspection as I continue on my healing journey. And my rather unusual background is because I'm at camp tonight, which is where I've been since May 8th. Um, I moved out to camp May 8th and I've been living here since the beginning of May and I was part of an experiment and still is part of an experiment and what is going on with this hair it's too much of it on my head that's what anyway um, I don't even know where to start it's been so long I did go on an incredible journey um, just about a month ago to Whiteface Mountain the top of Whiteface Mountain in New Hampshire and spent uh, three nights camping there in the pouring rain and when I say pouring I mean torrential downpours for three days fortunately I had the roof nest perform beautifully the inside was dry and warm um, so that was amazing <clears throat> and because the dogs and I were um, you know, basically forced inside. There was a little shack on the campsite. And when I first arrived, it wasn't raining yet. But over the next three days, as it continued to downpour, the dry areas inside that ramshackled old shack got smaller and smaller and smaller until the dogs and I were huddled in three chairs in that little tiny space, just kind of sitting there staring at each other. Um, but it was good. It was exactly what it needed to be because it gave spirit time to really speak to my heart and gave me a chance to really really listen so I'll share more about that in a minute um, when I say a lot of things have changed I mean a lot of things have changed I made a decision a few months ago well let me back up a little bit I've been saying for um, two or three years now to like all of my friends family and everything I am NOT going to spend this freaking winter in Vermont and then situations circumstances would arise and my window of opportunity to leave before snow started coming came and went and here I am in Vermont and that happened again last winter and it was just I don't want to be here in in Vermont in the winter time I don't, I don't participate in um, winter sports. I don't like driving in the winter. I don't like the snow. I don't like the ice. I just, I don't like the fact that it costs me <clears throat> about $5,000 a heating season just for the winter to heat my home. So I made a firm decision this year. I am not going to be here. So I started taking steps way early to make that happen like probably back in oh my gosh I'm gonna say April I started really 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 giving it some serious thought um, I'm still on the road all the time driving all the time because it's what I love to do I love I love being on the road I love having adventures and of course my co-pilot junior co-pilot Bella and Casper are always with me um, but I decided I am not, not going to be here this winter, period, end of story. I don't care if I have to drive south and live in my truck, I'm not going to be here. Fortunately, I won't have to do that because the universe opened up a, an opportunity for me to, um, to buy a, my mind just went blank to buy a um, 2024 Forest River R-Pod, 22 and a half feet long, full kitchen, full bathroom, um, dining area slash living room area, 
and a bedroom with a queen size bed. So yes, you can fit all of that into 22 feet. Um, and I'm actually going on another road trip. Um, I leave the 8th of August and I'll be picking up the trailer on the 9th and then back home probably by the 10th. So <clears throat> the R-Pod is going to be our winter home. Um, someone is going to, a friend is going to be um, house sitting for me so that everything goes well at my house. But the plan at this point is to spend probably three to four weeks in Maryland in that area that I'm meeting a friend at Astigua Island where the wild horses are to camp for almost a week there. And then from there, I really don't have any firm plans. I'm thinking possibly Mississippi or Louisiana for a few weeks and then <clears throat> New Mexico. I definitely know that I want to spend a few weeks, maybe a month in New Mexico. I do plan to spend, I haven't made up my mind yet, either all of December or all of January in Arizona at my place down there. Um, and using that as home base, I'll take day trips here, there, and everywhere to some of the national parks, maybe a few days or more in Southern California. I haven't really made up my mind yet. The important thing is I am not going to be in Vermont in the winter. And I'm really excited about this new, this new um, phase of my journey and the adventures that I'll have and the sights that I'll see and the people that I will meet. I'm super, super stoked. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to be happening in, in, um, I plan to leave in mid-October, maybe late October. The important thing is that I get on the road before it starts snowing because I do not want to be towing a 22-foot trailer in the snow. That's just not happening. Um, so it's important that I get out of here on time and not get, you know, sidetracked by anything. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the middle to the end of October, I will hit the road and I'm planning on coming back when I can safely drive back without fear of major snowstorms and things like that because me and driving in the snow, mm -mm, not so much, don't like it. I don't even like it when I'm just driving a car or um, did I mention that I traded my car for a truck because it made more sense? And if I would have known how much I was going to love my goddamn pickup truck, I would have done it years ago. Yeah, so a gal and her truck, it's a thing. I'm finding that out. Anyway. I, I'm not driving in the snow, so I'll have to watch the weather and, and plot a course for home as soon as I see that I can do it without running into major snowstorms. Um, so if you, if you follow me on Facebook as well, you'll know that um, my Facebook page is called Wild at Heart Journeys Within and Without, and that's what the... Um, the trip last month to New Hampshire ended up being, I was determined we were not going to bail on the trip. Um, we we're going to stay no matter what. And like I said, I really had nothing to do but sit and listen to my own thoughts and listen to the whisperings of spirit and realize that over the past couple of years, so many of the things that I had become aligned with or um, embraced and came alongside of it wasn't a matter of alignment because they weren't in line with my soul. They weren't aligned with my soul and my spirit and my purpose. And it became clear to me that I have to let some of these things go. So, um, it was a, uh, it was, really was a vision quest for me because so many things became clear to me and so many things were shown to me that weren't for my greatest and highest good. So it's time to let them go and let them go I have. And it was much easier than I thought it would be. So I'm really grateful for that experience. I'm really grateful for the time that I spend alone with just the dogs who thankfully don't usually offer any input. Don't have a lot to say. Um, 
The other thing that made that trip really worthwhile is because, like I said, we were a mile up on the top of the mountain all by ourselves. No other human beings around, no other campsites around. That campsite is singular all by itself. And um, when we got there, now Bella has, <clears throat> because she tends to be aggressive toward people she decides she doesn't like, and especially other dogs, she has never in her 15 years been off lead or off leash. Um, because it just wasn't safe. It wasn't safe for her. It wasn't safe for other people. And when we got there, I realized there's nobody here but us. So I opened the door to the truck and I let her get down and she stood there waiting for me to put her leash on. And I was like, no, you're fine. Go ahead, go. And, and she like clung to my legs like, no, I'm going to get in trouble. No sooner you're going to take off and you're going to be like, get over here. So for the first few minutes after she was on the truck, she was just kind of sticking close by. Casper's always close by. That little guy's up my ass all the time. I don't ever worry about him taking off or anything like that because, quite honestly, he's chicken shit. He is scared of everything. Of course, if I weighed seven pounds, I'd probably be scared of everything too. But anyway, after a few minutes when Bella realized that I wasn't going to hitch her to a lead or put a leash on her, she started exploring and running around. And friends, I want to tell you, I would have made that whole trip just for that. Just to see her for the first time in her life, be able to run free and explore and go where she wanted to go. And it was just amazing. It, it made me so happy to see her that way. It actually made me cry. It was just such an incredible moment. So I really would. I would drive all the way back up that mountain and spend time there again just so Bella could run around. So really, really grateful that she had that opportunity. Um, so anyway, that was the New Hampshire trip. Um, I'll probably make more videos as I'm going down to, I have to drive 15 hours to go pick up the, um, the R-Pod in Trenton, Ohio. Didn't even know there was such a place, but now I'm going to go check it out. So I'll probably make more videos along the way. I will definitely make a video, um, you know, giving you the full guided tour of the new camper, which will be our winter home. And if things go well, will probably be my winter home for a few years. Yay. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots of adventures, plenty of mishaps, because there always are unexpected things, but that's all part of the adventure. And it's all part of learning and growing and I'm super excited and I'm I really am hoping that you guys will come along with me keep me company um, the hardest thing is going to be being separated from my family I've never been that far away for that long so we'll see how that goes but back to my original point that was one of the reasons why I moved out to camp and have stayed here and have been living here um, I mean I'm still close to home um, I'm only like a half hour from Derby, but <clears throat> I really haven't gone back there very often except to check mail and things like that. Um, so part of the experiment was, can these two dogs and I live in a small space without driving one another crazy or me wanting them, me wanting to wring their necks or them laying on the couch staring at me with those, you know, those eyes like, bitch. Don't close your eyes tonight. Piss me off. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, and it's gone. It's gone really well. And the other thing that's been really amazing to me is I have all of this stuff right in my house, like like these things that I think that I needed. And especially during the pandemic when we were in lockdown, um, I acquired stuff. And like even before I moved out here, I looked at it and I'd be like, "The hell is all this shit?" Why do I have it? Why did I ever think that I needed it or wanted it? And now I feel like it's smothering me. So one of the big things that I've learned being out here, um, I mean, granted, it's 34 feet long, but you lose a good 10, 12 feet for the driving area, right? So you actually only have about 22 to 24 feet of living space. All of the things that that weigh me down at home and take up space in my home they're not here and you know what i haven't missed them at all so when i come back in the spring i'm either going to have one hell of a yard sale 
or I'm just going to get a 10 yard dumpster and, and get rid of it all. I mean, who needs, I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm learning so many things about myself, about life, about spirit, and I'm grateful. I can honestly say I start every day with a grateful heart. I hope that it's been an enjoyable summer for you despite the onslaught of rain. It seems like we can't get more than 24 hours without torrential, sorry I'm distracted by a moth, <clears throat> without torrential downpours and um, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you are pursuing your dreams as much as you are able because in my mind a life or an end of life, the golden years, filled with regret for all the things you wanted to do and never did. For me personally, that, that would be the worst way to spend my last years. I can deal with hardship, I can deal with loss, I can deal with so many other things that have cropped up in my life. But regret sucks a lot. Anyway, good to chat with you guys again. I will make another video, probably not until I get to, um, or I'm on the road to go to Ohio in a couple of weeks to pick up the trailer. Anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out with me. And mosquitoes are starting to come out, so that must be my cue to go in. Have a blessed day and a wonderful evening, and I'll see you soon.